We continue on with solving our diving board problem for straight line torque. We finished part A and now we're on to part B. Suppose the board itself weighs 50 kilograms, but we're still ignoring the bending of the board. Now how heavy can Penelope be before the bolts give? The question one might ask before starting to solve this. In part A, Without the weight of the board, we showed that Penelope's maximum mass was 191 kilograms. So I would ask, just guessing, how much do you think of that 50 kilograms we're going to have to take away from the maximum mass of 191 kilograms? More than half, more than 50, what do you think? Let's see. So obviously now we have three forces. We have the bolts the weight of Penelope and the board. You remember that we had the bolts were counterclockwise and the force on the bolts was 4,200 newtons and the distance from the bolts to the center of rotation was 1.25 meters. We had Penelope, our person, that she's acting in a clockwise direction with respect to the center of rotation and again we're going to be looking for the maximum weight of Penelope and our distance was the total 4 minus the distance to the center which was 2.75 and now we want to consider the board itself the diving board so board but you say wait the board goes across the whole thing yes it does but we can consider that the weight of the board acts at the centroid of the board so the centroid is the center point of the board. So if the board is four meters long, the centroid is at two meters here. Now, it's weighing down, so it's going in this direction. It's on this side of the center of rotation. So it is clockwise. So it will be a negative when we put it in because it's clockwise. What is the force of the board? Well, we have its mass, 50 kilograms. We don't want kilograms, we want newtons, so we need to multiply by 9.81 meters per second squared so that we get newtons here. We'll calculate this in just a minute. Let's do the distance to the board. The distance to the board is this distance, which is 4 over 2, minus the distance to this to the center of rotation, which is 1.25. These are both meters, we're good. Calculator, so 50 times 9.81 is 490.5, 490.5 newtons. And this distance is four divided by two equals minus 1.25 equals 0 0.25. 75 meters. So now, what is our net torque? This is positive, counterclockwise, negative, negative, equals force of the bolts times the distance of the bolts minus the force of the person times the distance of the person minus the force of the board times the distance of the board. And of course, we still want a system in equilibrium, so this is a zero. So we have 4,200, that's FB, times 1.25 minus FP, what we're looking for, times 2.75 minus uh, 490.5 times 0 0.75. Newtons times meter, Newton times meter, Newton times meters, we're good, equals zero. So let's move FP over onto the other side. So FP and then divide by that, so one over 2.75. And then we're left with 4,200 times 1.25 minus 490.5 times 0 0.75. And now calculating, and always use a decent calculator for these kind of things. So 1 divided by 
2.75 times parenthesis 4,200 times 1.25 minus 490.5 times 0 0.75 and parenthesis enter. So 1,775.3 newtons. 1,775.3 newtons. That's the answer to our problem. So that makes her, the mass of Penelope now maximum at about 178 kilograms. So what's the difference between these two? 191 minus 178 is 13. So given this system and the relative position of the fulcrum, only a little more than one-fourth of the weight of the board has been transferred to Penelope. Isn't that interesting? On to our new problems.